हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज अ न्यू वीडियो फॉर फॉर द मॉक टेस्ट एंड वेलकम बैक टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द कॉड्रेटिक ग्राफ्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द जर्नल फॉर्म ऑफ अ कॉड्रेटिक इक्वेजन so y equals to ax square plus bx plus c this is called a journal form of a quadratic equation so we need to understand two things like if the coefficient of the x square that is that is written a right so if it is greater than 0 the graph the graph of quadratic equation opens upward so let me re repeat this thing this is a very important concept right so when the value of a is greater than 0 so you will observe that the curve of the quadratic equation will always opens upward but if the value of a is less than 0 the curve opens downward okay so these are the first you know these are the first phase of the quadratic equation because these the this phase help you to draw a quadratic curve this phase help you to understand the quadratic curve as well so for example if a quadratic curve you know opens upward so you will have a trend like this this is x axis and this is called the y axis and the curve, when the curve opens upward this will gives you a unshaded you know this is the the opening of the quadratic curve so it is open upward so now we have few important you know points in this this point these two points are called the x intercepts and the this point is called the y intercept of the curve and you know that on the x intercept the coordinate is always x comma 0 because on the x axis we have y, y. the coordinate of the y intercept is always equal to 0 comma y because because x is always zero on the y axis and then we have somewhere we have a turning point this is called the turning point of the curve and this is called the minimum point of the curve as well because when the parabola opens upward it always gives you the minimum point okay so the coordinate of the minimum point must be equal to x comma y and to find out the the value of x you can easily find you use this formula x1 plus x2 divided by 2 because this this is the midpoint or you can say this point uh, you know will divide our curve into two similar uh, portions and uh, that's why we call this line a line of symmetry okay so and now we have another formation of the curve that is called the downward curve so these are the same points called the x intercepts the same thing x intercept and uh, this point is called the y intercept and this is this point is called the turning point of the curve but at this situation when the graph when the curve opens downward the turning point shows you the maximum value or the maximum point for y and its coordinate will be x comma 0 i hope i hope you understand this concept very well because according to my experience this is the this part always have a very tricky part in the exams and 
most of the students difficult a lot of problems in this situation to understand the curve to interpret the curve to apply the concepts on the given questions so i'm sure that you understand this and apply them very easily thank you so much